So I've been working on this update for months now and it's finally live. It's not yet shipped to the actual extension, but by the time you're watching this video, it will be live, right? So one of the things a lot of people requested on AppSumo is that the product should be able to support other vendors apart from the you know general OpenAI or OpenAI API key. And if possible, it should also be able to work with the local models, which is the update that I'm going to be talking about in here today. You can now use Oli using your local model. Let's say if you have downloaded Llama 3 in your system, you will be able to use Oli with it, right? So let's go ahead and select local in here and save this. Now note that the entire system is powered by Olama. So you will need Olama in your computer in order to use this. And I'm going to help you step by step on how to set it up. First, go to Olama on Google or just look it up on Google and you'll be able to land here. In here, go ahead and download Olama. Regardless of if you're on Mac or Windows, you should be able to download Olama for your system. So you can see there are all three options. Go ahead and download it for Mac and then go ahead and install it. That's all you need to do. Once you install it, you should be able to see a Llama icon on your bar here on the top. And on Windows, you should be able to see it in the uh, status bar here, right? So, which basically means Olama is running. Now, the second thing you need to do is download the model that you will need in order to generate your comments. So right now we are using OpenAI. OpenAI was able to generate the comments for us. And then we used to put this, put those comments on social media websites. Now you will still need a large language model in order to make the comment generation work. So you can go ahead and download any of these models. Llama 3 is the most advanced model and Gemma 2 is also a good model. So I'm going to be giving you an example of Gemma 2. So in order to download the model, just go ahead and copy this command and then go back into your terminal or CMD in windows. In order to open terminal, just do command space and then type terminal, which should open something like this in here this command. What this will do is this will download the Gemma 2 model in your PC, which is effectively what you will need in order to generate these comments. Now I'm not going to be waiting to, you know, download this because I already have Llama 3 downloaded. So I'm going to be using that for my use case, but it's not this straightforward. There are a couple of more things you need to do in order to still make this work. Firstly, you always have to ensure that Llama is running when you want to generate the comments, because that essentially means that the model is working and is live and you can use it as an API. Let me show you how it would look once the model is downloaded in order to verify that model is downloaded just do olama run your model name so if you downloaded gemma 2 that will be gemma 2 but since i have downloaded llama 3 it will be llama 3 you can see the model is loaded and i can start chatting with the model so cool so we now have an llm that is working in our computer obviously there are certain things you need to keep in mind when it comes to llms because they would require you to have gpu power in certain pcs and a good mac in certain scenarios right but if you use smaller models like llama 3 the smaller variant and and Gemma 2 smaller variant, then you will be able to still make it work in your PC. It takes relatively longer than OpenAI because obviously OpenAI is powered by hundreds of GPUs while your model is powered by your own computer. So anyways, we know that the model is working and that only will happen once this goes all the way through to hundred percent. So ensure that this is downloaded and then you're able to chat with the model, which would basically mean that your model is set up. There is one major step that you will still need to do. And this is something uh, that I found online. So you need to run a couple of commands. These commands will basically allow Llama 3 model to communicate with your Chrome extension, right? Which is not done by default. So go ahead and put these commands and allow have these in description as well. So this is the first one, uh, which basically checks if Llama 3 is running or Olama is running. In this case, Olama seems to be running. And then this is the second command that is again on the Olama's documentation. So we are basically saying that set environment variable Olama origins with Chrome extension this. So basically I want to allow Llama 3 to communicate with my Chrome extension and I'm going to be putting all of these commands in description. So don't worry about it. So I'm going to be pressing enter, which will set the environment variable. And then in order to verify if the setup is correctly done, I'm going to be copying this third command and then I'm going to be adding it here. This basically says that the setup is complete because we have 200. Okay. So we're now able to use Chrome, our Chrome extension and use that to talk with the Llama 3 model. Then that is set up in our local computer. You can see this is the uh, access control allow origin, which basically says we are now allowing Chrome extension to use the Llama 3 model. Once your setup is done, go back to your Oli setup, open the API key and LLM vendor in here, ensure that the local is selected and this is something that you can put in dummy details here. You don't need a key because it's in your local computer, right? So just put dummy details here and then go to any social media website. I'm going to go to LinkedIn. So let's take this post 
and I'm going to click on comment and then I'll go ahead and click on support. So now this is leveraging local model in order to generate the comment for you. Now the issues with some of the models and it depends on the model that you're using is that it will put text like this before the generation. I'm going to be ensuring that the prompt that I use in the backend tells it to explicitly only share the text, but then you will see on and off these issues, especially for with models that are local models. And this will happen with almost all the models that are local. So nothing, something that we can't control at this point of time, but I'll ensure that I do correct prompt engineering in the backend such that you don't have to edit the comments once they are generated. But you can see regardless, the comment is that is generated is good. Again, it looks similar to what we would typically get on the, you know, the open API key as well. And it works on all the other websites too, right? So if I go to product hunt and I select the text and I try to comment, it's still going to use the local model that we've, you know, connected with the uh, Ollie extension now. So it takes some time to generate the comment because like I said, this is running on your local computer, but you can see it was able to generate the direct comment without having any help text here. Love the innovation. Vozo has opened a world of creative possibilities for me. No more tedious video editing. Just give me the right prompts and let my imagination run wild. So again, I'm hoping that this is an update that a lot of you wanted to see. So we, you know, pushed it very early. We weren't planning to connect local models because it's a task, but we did it because you guys wanted it, right? So I hope this update adds value to you folks. And I'd love to hear more about what you guys think about it, right? So I'll see you guys in the next one.